maybe the biggest vault of her life. And she sticks it. Still ranked in the top 30. Three straight nine nines. Gotta go big. Check a one and a half. Huge. <laughs> This ball is spectacular. Yurchenko, one and a half. Number three in the nation on this event. Look at the height! Oh my goodness! And what's amazing is... Nine, seven, five. She already has a 10 on her score sheet tonight. Came on floor. This routine is jam-packed with difficulty. She did a Maloney directly connected into a, a hard wash, which is a full twisting pack salto. Full out. Oh, yeah, hold on. Ooh. Rocking back, I think they're... She's ranked 13th in the country on the event and coming off her first career 10. And prior to that, she had four straight 995s. Just exceptional. Way to fight for that handstand right there. She's one not to just hit the vertical handstands, but hold them. Full pirouette, very difficult, into a double layout. Yeah, holds that landing for the judges. But 9.85 for Stanford. Talk about a good rotation. Widner to close it out. They want to drop wins, 9.775. Everything then would be 9-8 or better. Stanford was the top seed in this session coming in. 20th in the country. Switch leap to split jump. Beautiful job. And I love how bold and confident she is on this event. Well, we saw that against California when she was perfect. Got a 10 at home. And it was awesome because it was senior night for Stanford. It was already dramatic, a lot of motion in the room. And it was Both her, teams going off. It was her first one, correct? Yes. So special. Front aerial to a split jump. You can see she was slightly off balance, but she swung her arms quickly to reset herself for that jump. Again, it's a, a test to her being an upperclassman, a veteran. She's very seasoned knows how to fight for every 10th when her team needs it. Dismount, back handspring, gainer pull off the side. No step. Harris is top 20 in the country on this event. 9-9 nine, nine or better, five times, 9-9-7-5 nine, nine, against Arizona. She has a triple series coming up, very unique. She's gonna do a back handspring layout, step out to another back handspring. Beautifully done, and we've talked about, you know, freshmen and sophomores competing like they're veterans. Selena is another one of them. Just a consistent competitor for the Bruins. It's like she goes on autopilot. Front toss, right on. She looked like she's having fun on the beam at the Pac-12 Championships. I think that's the best way to do it. That's right. Round on. Nervous, it wouldn't help. One and a half. Got it. Nails it. She's gonna do that all night long. It's gonna be a sh She's also trying to make the Olympic team for the Philippines. She already competed at the Asian Games, won a silver medal on the floor, the highest ever finish for a Filipina gymnast. The top crowd liking what they see across the way. We'll catch you up. Beautiful front aerial to beat jump. This routine. Is spectacular so far. Emma has the best confidence in presentation on the balance beam. 
by Cancer and Gainer full dismount. There you go. Nails it. And UCLA is able to pull out a on this event. Miley O'Keefe is the best beamer in the history of collegiate gymnastics. She is a beam queen for sure. I love that she mounts the beam and goes right into her elite connection. Six wins this year, 36 career wins on the balance beam. Side aerial to back layout step out. Like I said in the first session, that is a very difficult series to perform. Miley has 14 career tens at Utah. 13 of them have come on the balance beam. Throws up the 22 for the late Ty Jordan. Dismount, so I can spring gain or full off the side. There you like it. Nailed it. Five straight nine nines for Abby, and it gets fun early. Watch her first pass. time All-American her day back at UCLA on the floor. Anna has impeccable tumbling techniques. Start off with a front lay to a Rudy, which is a one and a half. It's absolutely stunning to watch.
wall to wall. Yes, unbelievable talent. You're gonna see a lot of power in this first tumbling pass. Double layout. Beautiful. With California slow start, Oregon State struggling over on vault, Utah having issues on beam, UCLA can get right back into this thing. Double tack. Oh, up in the lights. Pass combination round off one and a half to Branny. Double sag jump. Showstopper. Longs to Miley. Double pike to start off. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning, and this is where her leap connection is going to come in. My favorite part. Oh. Oh, yes, her signature back tuck to stomach that gets you. this crowd sitting on springs. One and a half to front lay. Brooklyn Morris, ranked 30th in the country, has won twice on the floor, has gone at least 9-9 nine, nine, six times. Beautiful artistry. I think one of the most artistic gymnasts you'll see across the board. Former well, member of the Canadian national team. Great first pass with a front handspring double t twist to front tuck. She had been struggling to keep that inbounds, but she did a great job today. looking for that 180 split and she hit every single one of them. Last pass, front handspring to Rudy, one and a half. Opening up with the Double layout, full out. Absolutely stunning. It's great to see her back on the floor lineup. She hasn't been in the all around all season, which has been a challenge for her. So she's excited to be back.
front through the double tuck. Landed straight up and down, showing complete control. Stunning. Jane Carey and Oregon.